Yes, people, welcome to the Blunt Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Arsenal fans, I'm going to ask you guys one question. Have you ever peeled yam or potato with a block knife? I'm going to ask it again. Have you ever peeled yam or potato with a blunt knife? Tell me what happened. I'll tell you what happened to me. It took me hours and hours before I was able to finish peeling my yam and my potatoes. And by then, I was so hungry, I should probably have just ordered in and eaten. And nothing that might happen to you, which has happened to me before, is I ended up eating the potato and the yam with the back and the skin. I didn't enjoy the meal, obviously. But that's what's going to happen to you. Now, why am I asking these questions? If you have tools that you want to use to do a job, and the tool is not well prepared, or the tool is not effective enough, how are you going to get your job done? I know some of you know what I'm talking about now. I was asked yesterday if Ateta is paying me. If I'm being paid. No, I'm not being paid. The Arsenal coach doesn't even know me. Obviously, he doesn't know me. Who am I? No, I'm not being paid. But I refuse to be fooled or be sucked in by the emotions that we display as fans. And when we get emotional, sometimes we forget reasoning. And this is no insult to anyone. I have a lot of friends that disagree with me on this subject, obviously. That doesn't mean I'm insulting them. No, I just disagree with their opinions on this subject matter. And you guys know what I'm about to talk about. I'm about to talk about Ateta and Arsenal and the fans. That's what we're talking about today. So tell me something, guys. You're using a blunt knife to peel potato. Obviously, it's not going to work for you. You're using a tool that you want to use to do something effective. It's not going to be effective. Now, I know you guys have heard me say this several times, but there are several things I want to talk about today. Yeah? Bear with me for the next 10 minutes. Okay? Bear with me for the next 10 minutes. I was sent a tweet today. Someone follows me on Twitter. He asked me a question. Are Southampton players, the Southampton players, I beg your pardon, are they better than the Arsenal players? I'm going to start by replying to you guys by saying the fact that you are wearing an Arsenal shirt doesn't automatically make you a Ronaldinho or a Roberto Carlos or a Zidane. No, the shirt doesn't make you a better player. What makes you a better player is yourself. You need to be ready to be the best of the best of the best. There is a reason why people in class are better than their other um, classmates because they put in more work to learn and improve themselves. If you look at the Southampton team today, I will take Danny Hings as my number one striker. Do you know why? Do you know why? And because he doesn't have the name that Aubameyang, like I said, has, which I'm going to get to in a bit. People believe to all these other players that play for small teams. Many Arsenal players are privileged. The earlier we know this, the better for us. They are privileged to be playing for this shirt. They were lucky. A Danny Hings, I've seen him when he doesn't score. He does a lot more than Obama Yanga, like I said, do for Arsenal Football Club. I've watched Danny Hings for England. I've watched him for Southampton. Even if I watch all the games, the games I've watched, I've seen what he does off the ball. So in answer to your question, are some of the players in Southampton better? Yes! Bellerin versus Kyle Walker-Peters. Please tell me, would you pick Bellerin ahead of him? A player that has given four foul throws in three games. At top level. Four foul throws. Is that a coach's fault that you cannot make a proper throwing at your level as a footballer? No, don't blame Bellerin. Blame the coach. What prowls in Southampton? Would you pick Shaka ahead of him? Please answer this question, guys. Would you pick Shaka ahead of him? Let's put this into perspective. Sometimes our emotions get the better of us and not allow us to reason. I know we're angry. I'm angry. I'm not happy we're in 15th position. 
But the truth about the matter is, Ateta has been given a job which is almost impossible for anyone to do right now. People complain that Ateta doesn't have tactics. I'm going to tell you guys something. There was an interview Ateta had with DAZN, a, 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 a television channel, where he says, we're trying to move to a 4-3-3 formation, but the specificity, I can't remember the exact words he used, but was talking about the specificity, specificity for those positions right now are not available. In other words, he's saying six or five positions were lacking the players required for him to be able to play the football he wants. What does that tell you? He also hinted towards the clear out from January or the summer, which simply means this guy is trying his best with the stock of players we have and he's not getting what he wants. He's not getting what he instructed them to do. You guys should read in between the lines. The guy is hinting towards the clear out. This simply means, guys, I cannot work with this stock of players. They are not good enough. They are not good enough. We say he doesn't have tactics. Okay, he doesn't have tactics, right? But we're able to put 44 crosses in the game in Tottenham. Now, I'm going to explain that to you guys in a bit. We've been trying to play down the middle, but we don't have creative players. Now, the man has looked at this and said, okay, we don't have creative players. We need to change the tactics. He doesn't have tactics, right? We need to change the tactics. Now, he's changed the tactics. It's not working. And listen, I totally understand that Obama Yang does not score those kind of goals. He's not good with aerial balls. But this is where the creativity of the useless, I beg your pardon, I don't want to insult anyone, of the inept people we have in the squad to make a decision on the kind of crosses to deliver in. In that same game in Totem, Bellerin delivered a cross which went behind Obama Yang. Now, the question is this, You've, have you given these guys instructions to play in a certain way and they don't know how to do it or you haven't given them an at all and they decided to go on there to play whichever way they want? I don't think the latter is the, is the, is the case here. I think the former is the case. He's giving them instructions on what to do, but they're not executing it properly. They're not executing it properly. And like I said, I know Oba doesn't score goals from, you know, from, 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 from the air, he doesn't know how to score aerial goals and all that. But what I'm trying to say is, the only reason we're doing that right now is because we cannot play through the middle. Now we've decided to play through the wings, we're still complaining. The players are not good enough. The reason why Robertson and, 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 and Alexander Arnold have assists is because the players around them are doing the job for them. When they cross in from the right on the left, a lot of players run to the ball and do the needful. That is added effort from the players in the squad. We said Ateta doesn't know how to motivate these players. Maybe he doesn't know how to motivate the players. How can you motivate people that don't know how to play football? Against Wolves, and I'm going to keep pounding on this, Podens, Triori, Neto, they had a combined 13 successful dribbles versus a whole Arsenal team. Just two. I keep saying this. This is down to individual brilliance and performance. We've been going like this for the last few years. Atata came in when this, this, this ship was sinking. He came in when this ship was sinking. And when he got into the ship, he thought he could save it. And he realized, I can't save this ship. I can't. We need to patch the ship. And all the dead wood and passengers, like he said, they need to be gotten rid of. That's the only way forward. Clear out. And he's already hinting for a manager to be hinting at Kerat and saying that there's some positions were lacking the right players. What does that tell you? It means I am tired of these players I have. They're not going to do it for me. I want better. The earlier we get this into our score, the better for us. I know this. They said football is a result business, but we need to be real. 
that sometimes we need to reason for ourselves and not just say, okay, because he hasn't done it or he hasn't won games, then get rid of him. But we're not looking at the main problem in, the, in, 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 in this freaking club. What is the main problem? Tell me, what is the main problem? Is the problem that we're losing games and we're overreacting? Or is it that the problem has always been there with the stock of recruitment and players we have in the squad? Which for me is the root cause. We should be tackling the root cause and not looking for quick repair. We should go into the into the root root cause analysis and, and identify the main problem here. Emery, Jumbeg, Ateta is the same problem. Even when Wenger was here, we we're complaining about the same thing. When we realize that this is not a manager problem. This is not a man. The only time I'm going to judge Ateta is if he gets those windows to get the players. If he gets the players he wants and he messes up, I will be the first to voice out my opinion about that. I will be the first to say, look, listen, you got what you wanted now. You're not doing it. Then leave. That's the only time I'm going to judge him. Not now. Not now. Not with the stock of players. We need to be real. Let's be real. How can a player be having four foul throws and you blame the manager? How, how can a player in party is injured with the number of experiences hard? He knows he shouldn't be walking off the pitch in that critical situation without telling his teammates. Without telling his teammates. No one called Shaka to come back in that game. No one. No one told anybody anything. I didn't see, I didn't see holding shouting, telling people to fall back. He walked off. No. What you do in that situation is either you sit down and wave to the ref. The ref can actually help you sometimes in those situations and blow. Or just, just stand there as a body. Just stand there. Be there. How can you blame a coach for that? Let's be real. Enough said, guys. Lovers will be lovers. Haters will be haters. It's your boy here, Taddy. I'm out of here, guys.